we've got three jacks that need to be replaced out of six that are defective. You know, real, tug it in yeah. real, tug it in real. She what? Is huh? it big? Yeah, it's, it's big. big. Serum State Park just took a turn for the worse. Absolutely do not feed or annoy the alligators. Kind of a given. I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who when faced with mounting health challenges decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and moved into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, we are crossing the country in search of new landscapes, experiences and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through full-time RV life. And till further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. It's that our rear jack is this far from the ground. The middle jack is bad. We have two bad jacks that have the potential of coming down while we're driving. Three out of six jacks are bad so far. We've got three jacks on the way to the KOA that we're staying at next, overnighted. Okay, so we just got to the KOA in Austin and that explains why my hair is curling because it's muggy and warm. Anyway, our packages were sitting here waiting for us from uh, Van Lee. Hooray, they sent three jacks, but too bad they sent the wrong jacks. We have two fronts and one mid. We need one front and two mids. So now we gotta get on the phone first thing in the morning, try to get them to overnight another one down to the shop where we're getting it repaired because we're leaving here Tuesday. Family is shipping us our third jack to the mechanic, so hopefully it's there when we get there. Fourth jack. Well, well, fourth jack, but the correct third jack. So, meanwhile, we've got one more night in the Austin area, and it just so happens that we know a couple of folks here. Courtney and Bart, they reached out, they follow us on YouTube, and asked to interview us for their podcast and YouTube channel. So, I'll link that above and below in the description. But yeah, we're going to get together and meet them for reals and have a little evening of some de-stressing. So social interaction. Social interaction, which, which is far and few between for us. So we finally get to meet Courtney and Bart in the flesh. <laughs> we're real people. Hello! We're all real humans. <laughs> or should I say howdy from Texas. And you never know, they might be our beers one day too. You never know. Morning, y'all. We had a good time in Austin. Uh, great time last night. Today we are heading south. Um, we're going to go down and get the jacks fixed in Tivoli, Texas, right on the coast. But we're also in the backyard of my friend Mork. Yes, Mork from uh, a good buddy from college and uh, we're gonna camp with them for, I don't know, several nights. I think he's gonna take us out fishing on his boat. And uh, anyway, looking forward to catching up with an old, old friend. And making travel day wraps. That seems to be our go-to. I pack the animals a lunch, I pack us a lunch, and then we don't have to worry about stopping. We just eat on the road, it works. Yep, your lunch is in there too, Gracie. Don't worry, it's in there too. The more you love, the more you live. And so what did you do to our, to our coach? Changed three jacks. Bill Hope. saved the day. Hope you don't have to change the other three. We're crossing our fingers as we travel to Florida that yes. they don't come to any more come down. They, people say, just turn the system off. It doesn't, they'll still draw. They can still draw because it's bypassing in the jack. It's not a power problem where the jack's dropping down. It's a seal, an O-ring in the jack, and it's just dropping down. And there's down. hydraulic fluid leaking yeah, it's, into the other side exactly. of the cylinder, which is causing right. the jacks to drop. Yeah. Right. Because it's not holding the suction. Yeah. But just, Bill was the only one that could get us in and was nice enough to help us in a bind. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, on the bright side, sure meet some nice folks when you are broke down and need, in need of help. Anyway, really nice people. They switched out all the jacks for us and gave us a place to camp for the night. And um, yeah, so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope these jacks are good. But he's very pretty certain that we're gonna end up having problems with the other jacks because apparently we hit right in the middle of a bad batch. It's a new problem that people aren't aware of yet. Except for us, we're aware. And hopefully you'll be aware too, which is why we are making this video to let you know about it. It is a safety concern and hopefully they're fixed and hopefully if you see this you'll uh, know what you need to do and keep an eye on too. All right, we're gonna hit the road. Wish us luck. See how far we can make it. See if these jacks hold up and go get some R&R, &R. we need it. Good morning from Palacios, Texas. We had a late night last night. Some of us had a late night last night, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's what old college friends, 40 years later, what happens when you get together. So nothing like staying up late and partying and then going for an early morning boat tour on the saltwater. Yeah, Mork's taking us saltwater fishing this morning. We're gonna, gonna catch, catch so many fish today on the Kimmy Cake. Mm hmm. <laughs> Got my fishing hat on. We'll do one shrimp and one croaker. Sorry, shrimp. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh. there's something on it. Okay, okay. I caught oysters. <laughs> Here it comes, they're coming it, through. It, no, it they're hit. I caught reel, it. Reel, reel. So what do I do? Keep on reeling. You know, re tug it in yeah. a reel, tug it in a reel. She <laughs> wants. Is huh? it big? Yeah, it's big. Keep on reeling. Holy cow, this thing is Oh, big. what is it? Oh! oh. What was no. it? No! It was a big, big. red fish. Huh? That was huge. That's the biggest fish I've ever had on a line. Never before have I had to jam a fishing rod in my crotch to reel a fish in. That was wow. exciting. It's a dolphins. We had an amazing time. And Mark and Cam, thank you for the hospitality and sharing your little slice of paradise with us. Yeah, hard to leave, but that's what life's about. The RV part's just this much of it. The rest is the experiences and the people that you hang out with along the way. And we look forward to meeting some more of you out there. Time to go. I've got great news this morning. We made it all the way to our next overnight stay without the jacks coming down by themselves while we're driving. That calls for celebration. I don't know about you, but that makes me happy. So hopefully we can make it all the way to Florida without any more incidents. Knock on wood. <sighs> but we are at Sea Rim State Park down on the Gulf in Texas. It's about a little bit southwest of Beaumont, and you literally drove straight through oil refineries. It was like a sci-fi movie. They have electric and water sites with 50 amp, 30 amp picnic tables and these weird hanging hook things that I do not know what they are for. Comment below if you know what these are. No idea. No clue. Thinking of all kinds of things it could be used for, but no idea. All right, we're gonna go do this thing. We're gonna go ride the beach on our e-bikes. First time we've ever done it on our new e-bikes. Here we go. We're 
back in our happy place. Yep. A year ago right now we were on uh, Oregon coast and this year we are looking out at the Gulf. The water is our happy place. If you haven't seen our first season on the Oregon coast, check those videos out. We had a blast. All right, we're gonna ride our bikes back down the beach and then uh, check out the rest of the campground. We'll take you along. You're supposed to watch for alligators around here. Just so you know, get, we're in the south now. There's alligator signs. We need to get a kayak. Those darn thieves took our kayak. There's like 18 miles of paddling in here. There's fishing and crabbing. You can even primitive camp on the beach. They have all these spots that you can camp. You do need to watch for alligators and not crab in their area apparently. We haven't seen an alligator yet. But yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a good way to end the day here at Sea Rim State Park. Beautiful sunset. Seerim State Park just took a turn for the worse. We're like under siege from mosquitoes. The whole outside of the RV is covered in mosquitoes. You'd think we were in Alaska. No, we're in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, including the mosquitoes. I itch from head to toe. I don't know how we're going to sleep tonight. I don't know how they're getting in the RV, but th this isn't good. Well, last night was a uh, apocalyptal mosquito wise. I am itching all over. I literally had to cover my entire body and create just a breathing hole for my nose and mouth. There is alligator etiquette, so I thought I would read this to you because I think it's kind of fun. Absolutely do not feed or annoy the alligators. Kind of a given. Do not throw balls in the water for your pets to retrieve. Yeah, I don't think I'd be doing that. And if an alligator catches the fish on your line, cut the line and let the alligator have the fish. Don't think I'll be wrestling an alligator for a fish. Anyway, those are just a few of the alligator etiquette rules on the brochure, which I thought you might get a kick out of. We didn't see an alligator here, but I'm guessing we're gonna have a lot of alligators in our future. All right, time to pack up and get out of here. Serum State Park, you were great until you weren't, and the mosquitoes came and invaded us. Ugh, can't handle it your booze. <laughs> Anyhow, found when I you found and you and I was like, these people are like our kindred spirits. She's like, this is great. <laughs> Did I just say y'all? I'm already starting to speak with a drawl. Gotta get on out of here. Gotta get on out of here. Oh, no.